Good morning, sixth graders. Welcome to the Independence Station. Today, as we wrap up with tech structure for the week, um, we are going to do an activity tomorrow where you have a completely independent assignment. So make sure you're kind of paying attention to your last review for it today. So first question, what is a claim? What is text structure? And give examples of the four main text structures used. Okay, so right now flip to this back page in your packet. I know that we filled, there's two boxes like this. We filled the top one yesterday, so go to the second one. This is what we're going to do today. And then number that second box like this. Number one, write the word claim and then structure. Two, claim, then structure. Three, claim, then structure. Because it's going to give you three different things, and you're going to have to tell what claim the author is making and then what text structure the author is using. So number one. Have you ever showed up to class absolutely exhausted and don't exactly know why, especially if you got a great sleep the night before? Have you ever felt lazy and sluggish throughout the school day and just can't seem to wake yourself up? If this is true, the first question you should ask yourself is, am I eating a strong, healthy breakfast in the morning? Eating breakfast in the morning replenishes your body's supply of nutrients and keeps your energy levels throughout the day. So first, what claim is the author making here? What is the author arguing? And then what text structure does the author use to make that claim? Number two, if you want to do better in school, you should always stay organized. Students who stay organized often receive better grades and higher paychecks because they have all of their materials with them, never receive deductions for missing a pencil, and are able to refer to past notes in class. Students who are disorganized often lose their materials and don't have all of the learning supplies that they need. Their missing materials show up on paychecks and affect their ability to earn celebration. So what claim is the author making here? What text structure does the author use to make that claim? Make sure that you're jotting down these notes too right in this box that I put right here. So claim structure, claim structure, and then we have one more. Helmets are an incredibly important part of a bike riding experience. A helmet-free bike ride can lead to serious accidents, such as broken bones or even brain damage. Because riding a bike without a helmet is also against the law in certain places, you can actually get in trouble with the law if you don't wear one. What claim is the author making here, and what text structure does the author use to make that claim? So if you are done right now and have already been to the independent station and done that peer editing of your claim, then just take out your book. If you have not, then go ahead and make sure that you turn to, uh, or just kind of look at the box, look at this part right here where you were supposed to have written your claim yesterday. If you haven't finished it, make it super strong and make sure that the text structure is obvious so someone is ready to read it.